6. Subculture A cell culture left without attention will ultimately die. In order to prevent this, we must provide fresh nutrients and space for the cultures to expand. This process is referred to as subculture. Cultured cells fall broadly into two types. Firstly, those dependent on attachment to a substrate, usually referred to as an anchorage dependent or attached cell line, such as fibroblast and epithelial cells. Secondly, anchorage independent or suspension cell lines. Hybridomas and serum free adapted cell lines tend to grow in suspension. Subculturing an attached cell line. To subculture the cells, they need to be in suspension to allow them to be transferred from one container to another and to reduce the cell density. View cultures using an inverted microscope to assess the degree of confluency and confirm the absence of bacterial and fungal contaminants. Remove the used media, preferably by pipetting. This media can be reserved and used later for inactivating trypsin. Wash the monolayer by addition of calcium and magnesium-free physiological buffer. Take care at this point. Avoid pipetting buffer directly onto the monolayer. This can cause significant cell loss. Carefully rock the buffer back and forth to dilute and remove protein. Remove buffer by pipetting. This wash step can be repeated if required. Add a volume of trypsin EDTA solution from a labelled aliquot as required. Usually one milliliter for every 25 centimeters squared of flask area is sufficient. Allow the trypsin EDTA to entirely cover the monolayer for a moment. Excess trypsin EDTA can be removed by pipetting at this point. To leave only a few milliliters to dissociate the monolayer of cells. Transfer the flask to an incubator and leave for five minutes or until the cells can be seen to be detaching from the monolayer both by eye and under the microscope. A gentle tap may be required to ensure the cells are fully mobilized. Inactivate the trypsin by addition of serum in the form of fresh growth medium or the spent medium removed earlier in the process. Remove 100 to 200 microliters of cell suspension and perform a cell count. Add fresh medium to dilute the cells to an appropriate volume. Aliquot the cell suspension into fresh flasks at the desired seeding density. Incubate the flasks in a humidified CO2 incubator. This enzymatic procedure may not be appropriate for some cell lines where exposure to proteases is harmful or where the enzymes used remove membrane markers or receptors of interest. In these cases, cells should be brought into suspension into a small volume of medium using a non-enzymatic agent or mechanically with the aid of a sterile cell scraper. Beware of shearing cells and killing them. Subculturing a suspension cell line. 
In many ways, this is an easier process than the subculturing of an attached cell line. However, it is vitally important that correct seeding densities are observed to enable most efficient cell growth. Perform a cell count. Add fresh medium to dilute the cells out to the required seeding density. In some cases, it may be necessary to centrifuge the cells into a pellet and resuspend the cells in entirely fresh medium. Aliquot into new flasks as required. 